Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? Hope it's fantastic. Everything here is great. It is game night, so I'm antsy to go play games. Um, but I wanted to follow up a little bit on yesterday's video because I asked yesterday how the situation was in your area. And I received a lot of varied responses from a lot of varied places. And I appreciate that. And it seems to be that the common thread amongst um, masks versus no masks, you know, is population density. And uh, it's easy for me to forget that I live in a very, very, very rural area. You know, for me, West Virginia, in particular my little town of Fairmont, is the norm, right? For me, it's my norm. Um, I think there's maybe 15,000, and maybe between 15 and 20,000 people here at any given time. And that's including with the college. And so that's not a lot. And I tend to forget that most states, most states have a city with a population that's larger than my entire state. Uh, my entire state has less than 2 million people. It's a very, very small state. And, uh, I mean, it's a large landmass, but there's nobody here. It's a very empty state. And I often forget that. And it's also one of the things that I love about it. Uh, I've, I don't know if we've ever talked about my love of West Virginia, but one of the things that makes this place special is because it's a very unpopulated, not necessarily mountainous. We like to say that we have mountains, but we really don't. We have big hills. Because it's unpopulated, because of the wilderness here, because of the seriously repressed economy, West Virginia is not really influenced by the rest of the world very much at all. Uh, housing markets don't fluctuate with the, gl with, obviously global, but with the national housing markets, uh, joblessness or, or unemployment rates. West Virginia is pretty stable. That doesn't mean it's good. It just means it's stable. It, where it is is where it is, and it doesn't fluctuate a whole lot. It doesn't have wild swings based on the rest of the country's economy. And because of that, and then, you know, with this current uh, crisis, it, you know, it, it kind of didn't have a huge impact here. And I think I pointed that out last year. Like, when within a month of uh, everybody panicking and staying inside, it was, you would go out here and see plenty of people out and about. It wasn't like deserted streets like we saw in, you know, New York and Philly and some of the more populated areas. That wasn't here. Like, it, the roads were just as busy. Um, local roads were just as busy for me than it ever was. Now, going to a larger town, like north of me, is Morgantown. And Morgantown has, say, three times the population. Um, it was obvious there that there was nobody out. Like, would it used to take me 45 minutes to drive to my office building. It would take me, you know... 20. Like, it was much easier to get across that town with less people. But for the most part, it, you know, this situation didn't impact me quite as heavily as it impacted a lot of people. Uh, and part of that is just because I'm a hermit, right? M is too. We, we like to stay by ourselves and do things together. We don't really go out and do a whole lot w with outside groups. And uh, other than game night starting back, uh, I haven't really done much of anything for the last three years, right? Other than following monster sports teams and hanging out with other sports parents at those events, we didn't hang out after sports. Like, you know, we weren't those kind of parents or parent friends. But um, it, it's, it's really easy for me to lose sight of the rest of the world. Right? Because, for one, I can't see over the hills. Uh, but for two, I, I'm sheltered here. Like, I'm protected. It's, it's like a little swaddle. Um, and crossing borders can sometimes be a little bit more than just culture shock. It can be economic shock also. Uh, and, and it's very easy for me to forget that other people are having economic shock because we don't. It's kind of hard to, uh, in, in my state, it's hard to judge the national economy because we are at the bottom. Right? It's hard to judge 
uh, the natural the national mood because our mood is so localized like our mood is so we don't have a lot of the issues I, that's not technically true I mean I, I don't want to say that we don't have race issues or we don't have um, violence issues or drug issues we have all of those things but there it is such a tiny scale super tiny scale and when you live in a place where you know everybody knows you or your or your uncles or cousins then it, it's a little different kind of environment and maybe maybe that's the one of the things i like about this place is that i don't feel like i'm just a uh a blank face on the street i don't know i don't know <laughs> I didn't really fully intend to talk about all of that weird economy and life stuff. It, it, you know, I just wanted to say thank you, everybody who did comment yesterday and tell me how things were going for you where you are. Uh, I saw some people saying that like it was half masks on, half masks off. I saw other people saying that in the rural areas it's just as uh, just as I reported. Like basically nobody's wearing masks. Um, really interesting. So I'm looking forward to uh, what happens with the rest of this year. The variants that are out there are becoming an issue, and uh, I was not aware until Chris said something that um, California had brought back the mask mandate. So I think we might see that rolling into the winter months, that people will be remasking, and uh, I'm fine with that. Like, I think that's a good solution, especially if this variant becomes more of, more of a problem. Uh, so we shall see. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, following, subscribing, <laughs> being amazing friends, being wonderful people. I really appreciate you, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Today's word you should know to sound smart is gregarious. It's an adjective meaning preferring to be outgoing and sociable. We are easy to manage, a gregarious people, full of sentiment, clever at mechanics, and we love our luxuries. Robinson Jeffers, an American poet. Gregarious, G-R-E-G-A-R-A-R-I-O-U-S. Preferring to be outgoing and sociable. I would say that in certain situations, I am gregarious. Uh, especially when games are involved. Otherwise, mm-mm. <laughs>